Okay, we're doing an early morning start today. We're heading to the Aral Sea. Bikes are all packed, ready to roll. So it's been a while since my last uh, edit. My last one was in Georgia. I've just been doing a lot of work recently in this last couple of weeks. Me and Dave do freelance digital marketing to, to earn a way to keep going and we just took on two more clients so it means quite a lot more work. Are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. Thank you. Oh, very, nice. very kind. <laughs> They're really nice. <laughs> you just nearly pop off the other side. <laughs> Camels freak me out. <laughs> no. Been going for quite a few hours. There's still no ships. Uh, yes, wait, seven uh, weeks in. Uh, Good. So mm -hmm. seven. Like uh, that much. <laughs> so okay. the pliers yeah. are on this. Mm -hmm. All the way around here. <laughs> uh, Two days of riding. We were so excited to try and see some of the ship graveyard, but unfortunately, it looks like. This is all that's left. I'm happy that we found this, but I'm, I'm gutted that we didn't get to see a big ship, but I feel quite accomplished that we at least tracked it down. A lot of the ships are at the Uzbekistan side. If you've got plans to come to Kazakhstan, go to the RLC and see some ships, I would probably not bother and stick to um, the Uzbekistan side. We're now leaving Kazakhstan today. We are going into Uzbekistan. We're on our way to the border right now. So we've got 160 kilometers till we get to our hospital in Tashkent. Kazakhstan has just been really incredible. It's, it's, it's like nowhere I've ever been before. Such a huge place. Uh, and most of it's pretty much untouched. Uh, uh, gravelly, sandy tracks to have fun on. And we've met some of the most amazing people, some really, really kind people. Alex just has been so interested in us. The car's doing some really crazy manoeuvres and I've been thinking it's because they want to get past us but actually because they're trying to not overtake us but get side by side with us so they can all be waving out the windows and you look inside the car and it's just full of grinning faces. It's really amazing. I think we're about an hour and a half away from the border um, and we're hoping that it's going to be quite easy to get through but we've had a couple of people write to us on our Facebook saying at the border they're really looking to the bags and they want to know about your medicine that you're taking and it can take a few hours so I'm hoping that we get through quite quick. Okay we're at the Kazakhstan to Uzbekistan border, pretty busy. There's Dave buying us some money and I think I'm going to buy some of my own actually, I think I've got some notes still. Whoa. Britannia? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm warm, but the main problem is that I need to leave. Probably taking about three hours to get through the border. We 
we are now in Uzbekistan. So I had a quick look through our bags, so we'll put one, two for us. Uh, looks through our documentation, uh, super friendly. We're really excited about the bikes. Said welcome, have a great time. And now we're on our way to a hostel, which is 21 kilometers away. So we're really used to really dusty little back towns now, all through Kazakhstan, and this is a massive change for what we've been seeing for the last few weeks. Our hostel. There we are. Yay! Oh my god, sweating. This is our hostel. Last bit. The swimming pool. Okay, we're in the metro. We're trying to get to the city centre. These are our tickets. So let's see how far we get. It's so boiling hot, I really just want to get in there. Dunk my whole head. So clean here. 